hello and happy January. Do you love January as much as I do? I start looking forward to January starting in about September. With the start of school, life just gets crazier and crazier as the year winds down. And January is the calmest month of the year for me. And as the life gets crazier, I get more and more excited for some boring time. This month, I'm going to share my December favorites with you, aka what I got for Christmas. And I thought it would be a fun way to do my January video. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm April at Stunning Style, and I help classic women find their own personal classic style twists with my Stunning Style wardrobe guides that come out seasonally. They are capsule wardrobe collections with 30 plus capsule pieces. No, no. They're capsule wardrobe collections with 30 plus classic pieces. And I also have the Stunning Style Society membership group. If you're interested in finding out more about it, I have a 10 day free trial of the current guide and I'll link everything in the box down below, including the links to everything I got for Christmas. So let's get started. My husband and I have a tradition. Every year we buy each other new pajamas. I love pajamas. It's my way of telling my body we're done for the day. I get up and get dressed every single day, first thing in the morning, and I've written a lot about that on my website. But when I'm done for the night, the kids are in bed, we're done cleaning up, I put on my pajamas as a way of telling my body and my brain, we're finished, it's time to relax. And so I love pajamas. And the ones he got me are, not surprisingly, <laughs> striped. <laughs> and these might be my favorite pajamas ever. They're from J. Crew. They're knit, they're navy blue. I'll just try on the top for you on top of my sweater. And I just love it. This is a size extra small and they're really comfortable, really comfortable. I really love them, I've worn them a ton. The other thing that my husband has gotten me just about every year is a new pair of slippers. I wear my slippers all the time in the house and this year I got these. They're silver and sparkly and honestly the sole is so substantial they could actually be a shoe or a slipper or both. Um, I wear them as both. They've got the fuzzy shearling lining. They're Michael Kors and um, they definitely have a more substantial sole than, say, a Minnetonka. I always like the moccasin style slippers, and I've been wearing these out of the house everywhere. I really like them. They're really comfortable. They fit a little snug when you first try them on, but they do stretch out. The shearling does compress. Um, so I went with my normal size six. The sales lady suggested I go up to a six and a half, which fit perfectly in the store, but I've had experience with these kinds of shoes and slippers and I knew that I would be sorry soon because they would stretch out a little bit and the shearling wouldn't be quite as fluffy. I love these. So in December, I went to Nordstrom to get fitted for some new bras and after she measured me and she was going off to find me some to try on she said here why don't you slip this on so you don't get cold and uncomfortable and i said i know what you're doing you're trying to sell me a cardigan and it totally worked it totally worked so i uh strongly hinted and suggested and basically told my husband i want this for christmas and it is a barefoot dreams cardigan and every year uh, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, every blogger and YouTuber goes on and on about the Barefoot Dreams cardigan. They always talk about the circle cardigan, and I don't like circle anything. And so I never even touched one, looked at one, considered one. I'm not a huge cardigan wearer anyway, but I do love to have a cardigan to wear around the house. And uh, the one that I've had for the last eight years has definitely 
definitely worn out. There's a hole in the sleeve, the pockets are sagging, but I loved it so much I wasn't willing to get rid of it. I never left a house in it, um, but I have finally retired that sweater and gotten this one because it is a rectangle cardigan. I don't think that's what they call it, but that's the shape of it. It has a hood. They also have one without a hood, but why not have a hood? And I love this. I have worn this so much. I do really just wear it in the house, but it's thick and substantial enough that it can go over another sweater. I get really cold, and um, even though we keep our house really warm, I'm always cold. But this is so soft and warm. I will say I wish the black were just a touch more saturated, but I don't care. I love this cardigan. I really, really do. This next item just kind of goes right along with this theme this year. I love to be comfortable and cozy when I am in the relaxing mode of my day. He also got me a weighted blanket. We bought one for our son. Um, his is a 10 pound because you choose your weighted blanket based on your weight. Um, and he really liked it. It was quite expensive. I was surprised at how much they cost. His was well over $200 and that was a pretty good deal. And it was smaller. It's more like a lap blanket size. And we've kind of shuffled it through the house to see who likes a weighted blanket for sleeping. I even took a one month turn because I really love the compression of having that heavy weight on me when I'm sleeping. I cannot sleep without a cover or a blanket of some sort on top of me and three or four or five all the better. So my husband found these weighted blankets online at Costco and I actually like this one better than my son's and so we bought them for everyone in the family except him. He doesn't want a weighted blanket. I love how soft it is, the fabric. Um, this is a 15 pound weighted blanket. Um, it's bigger than the other one that uh, my son has. This one fits from top to bottom on my side of a king bed. So um, it doesn't hang over the edges or hang down the way a quilt or a blanket that is meant to be tucked in would. Um, it's, it just lays on top and covers my whole side of the mattress, if that makes sense. I love the quilted design. I love the soft, almost velour type of fabric. And it's really just a nice blanket. And I wanna say that we got it for 80 something dollars. I'll check and if they still have them, I will link it down below. We did have to wait a month to get them, but they were worth the wait. I sleep better with a weighted blanket. I don't know why, I'm sure there's some science behind it, but I've been struggling with sleep for the last eight years and this definitely, definitely helps. I sleep much more soundly with this blanket. So the next present actually came early. Um, we were talking and my husband said, there's something I wanna get you for Christmas it's been on my list of things to get for you and I wanted to ask you just to make sure and um, cause I want to order it tonight and I was like, okay, what is it? And he, when he told me, I actually screamed and <laughs> fell over on the bed because I was so happy. I have wanted one forever, but I never said it because it seemed kind of, I don't know, extravagant and it's this it is a Roomba vacuum oh how I love this thing we have six young kids ages 5 to 12 and I feel like I am walking literally all over eggshells all day long I cannot stand to step on crumbs and I could spend my whole day sweeping to, I, I wear shoes in my house I know a lot of people uh, have a no shoes policy in their house. Uh, not me. I hate stepping on crumbs. I hate it. And with six young kids, they are everywhere. And turning this on a few times a day just thrills me. We turn it on after the kids have gone to bed. 
we put the kitchen chairs up on the table and we put the stools up on the island and we let it run so the floors are spotless when we get up in the morning and then I run it again after they go to school so I have clean floors all day while they're at school and I can walk around barefoot if I want to I love it I love it I love this thing if I leave the house I run it I love it it does a great job so he definitely knocked it out of the park with this one I haven't had any experience with any of the other brands I know this one is on the pricey end but uh, for me it's worth it worth every penny it does a really great job of cleaning it's supposed to do um, carpet and hard floors we really just have it doing our hard floors which is most of the main floor um, the bedrooms are carpeted and then there's the family room part of the family room is carpeted but it's kind of a a large height difference between the hard surface and the carpet and it doesn't it sometimes sees that carpet as a barrier so it doesn't often go up onto the carpet but I can put it on the carpet and it'll go under the couches which is really nice because then I don't have to move the couches to vacuum and overall I have zero complaints about this one this one will go back and recharge itself and then come out and finish the job and it'll send you alerts if it needs to be emptied and this is my last Christmas present. She is actually a family gift. Um, if you know me, I've never been a dog person and I have always told my kids that we will never, not ever get a dog because it's like having another child. I've got six children, I don't need a seventh. And um, all of a sudden in December, it just felt like the right thing to do for our kids. We had chickens for a long time and a couple of years ago we lost our last flock to another neighbor dog and our coop got destroyed in a spring storm and I wasn't going to replace any more chickens or another coop. And my kids have been really sad because for them those chickens were like pets and um, they haven't had anything to love on. So it just felt it all of a sudden felt like the right thing to do and I just adore her she is so sweet her name is Annabelle can you come closer Annabelle you want to say hi say hi can you say hi say hi it's bright isn't it okay she is a mini Australian Labradoodle and she is so soft so soft so pretty so sweet she'll probably be about 28 pounds when she's full grown she's about 10 weeks right now we've only had her for a week so we picked her up after we came home from our Christmas trip home to Tennessee and um, she has just brought so much joy and happiness to our family the kids absolutely adore her I adore her she's so sweet and I will put a link down to below for the breeder that we bought her from so that is what I got for Christmas I think I did well I did very well this year I hope you enjoyed my December favorites aka what I got for Christmas if you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below and click the bell so you'll receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon.